Hey everyone, TechnoMetry here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to review iOS 18.4, the latest update version on the iPhone 14 Pro. We're going to talk about the main features here, the performance, battery life, and if it's worth upgrading to it if you're looking to upgrade to 18.4. So let's get started. Now, a lot of the features are geared toward Apple intelligence and unfortunately the 14 Pro doesn't get Apple intelligence so you're not going to see some of the features that are mentioned for Apple intelligence but there are some other updates that you are going to see first one is going to be the new set of emojis that you're going to get which you're going to see right here these are the some of the new ones that are going to be available once you upgrade to it you're also going to see a third row for some CarPlay users it used to be just two rows now there could be a third row depending on the car model that you have as well which gives you a little bit more option as well but there's also update to the control center here by here if you pull it down click on that plus icon here add a control you see a new section for ambient music here for sleep chill productivity and well-being as well and then there's also been an update to the actual UI here in terms of the cellular if you go in here you'll see here you'll be able to see things like where you're connected if you have cellular data on and off which you can toggle and those are going to be some of the UI updates that will happen as well now when it comes to Siri there are two new Siri voices two new Australian ones that have been added as well to the new update as well now there's also update to the back tap so if you activate back tap you're going to get a notification which in the past you didn't so if you did that you'll get that notification as well now you also see an update for the app store here where for apps in the review section you're going to get a summary here this summary basically summarizes all the reviews sort of using uh, the intelligent way to kind of go through it and give you a quick summary so you don't have to read through the uh, reviews for each one so if you're looking for app you can kind of quickly see what users are saying there's also been an update to apple maps as well that will give you the ability to select your preferred language as well so that's a setting update so you can select what language you want it to do there has been also update to the password app so if you use the password app certain passwords might have a verification code that comes with the timer so you'll be able to see your two-factor authentication code timer on it as well with your device here now along with that other updates you're going to see is now you can ch change the default translation app so in your settings if you go to apps default apps you see option that says translation by default it's going to use apple's translate app but you can select your own third party app as well as the default translation app now this feature is pretty new here some apps still need to be updated to turn on that ability to actually be set as a translation app now there's also been an update to who that the wallet where you can now actually see things like your orders and pre-authorization and even subscription which i don't have here but right in one place instead of going to multiple places as well so those are going to be some of the major highlight updates of course there's a lot more there's also some bug fixes performance enhancements as well but coming down to it is performance wise with 18.4 performance has been pretty all of the things that we're looking at here is working as expected I'm not seeing any issues with it you'll see here everything works as is all of your popular apps are working there's no issues with all of the apps whether you're using it for social media gaming using it for uh, just productivity tools YouTube streaming all of that is working without any issues as you can see here everything works smoothly which ex is expected on this uh, update here because it is a stable update dot four has been pretty much the one of the more stable update you're going to see when it comes to any update now the other aspect you're going to probably wonder is the battery life on it how is the battery life on it so i'll show you the battery here on this phone when i was upgrading to it in the settings here as you can see here, the battery is pretty consistent here you don't see like a sudden drop that's just normal usage so you can see here it's steady it's just slowly going which means there's no major major draining or dying the phone doesn't get hot it doesn't lag so again 18.4 to us is worth it definitely if you're already on 18 any of the other version you want to get to that dot four version which is a stable version to make sure your phone gets the latest bug fixes performance enhancement and security updates as well and that's why i want to hear from you guys what's your thought if you updated to 18.4 leave a comment in the comment section thanks for watching we'll see you guys next time